I need to apologize. In my last video, I was talking about salsa bandera, pico de gallo, tomato, onion, and cilantro. And I'm very sorry that I didn't pronounce it like you should in Spanish. Cilantro. Or, if you're in Costa Rica, culantro, which is kind of funny. But that's not what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about strawberries. Sort of. What is this drink called? El fresón. What is a fresón aside from the drink? Uh, it's like a person who's like bougie, fancy. <laughs> Those are fresas. So, fresa. Fresa is like somebody who is, you know, scared of getting dirty. Somebody who always wears nice clothes, likes to have nice things, carries around a Starbucks cup and Instagrams it all the time. Fresa. Fresa is a pejorative term for people who are fancy fancy. This is the part where I tried to explain what fresa means and I didn't do a very good job. I sé, yo entiendo que quiere decir fresa, pero no sé explicarlo bien, ¿sabes cómo? Sí, sí. So, I'm going to turn it over to a good friend and wonderful chef, Nora Martinez. Nora, ¿tú, tú qué sabes de fresa? La fruta o fresa, Ajá, fresa, fresa. Es presumida. Una fresa habla, habla así, o, o sea, sea, o sea, sea. Es presumida. <laughs> Le gusta estar en fotos todo el tiempo. Oh, Se hace muchas dale. selfies. Ajá. Y tiene una papa en la boca, ¿ves? <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. They've got a potato in the mouth. You know how to say garlic clove in Spanish? Diente de ajo. <laughs> garlic tooth. These things are mango gomitas with chile in them. So they're like spicy mango gummies and they are delicious. Really in its simplest form, fresa is somebody who has a lot of money. Now you know what fresa means. I hope this is helpful for you. If you like this video, be sure to share it, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bonus word of the day. This is a word you won't use very much because you don't see it very much, but frost is escarcha. Look at all that escarcha. It is literally freezing here. <laughs>